guess I'll hold this for me. Okay, so quick show of hands, who in this room has peed on an Olympic athlete before? Who has peed on an Olympic athlete who's got like at least two or three medals? Nobody? All right, well, my name's Kyle Kirk. Um, basically, I'm kind of ADHD and impulsive, which means I do really dumb things like tell classes full of people I don't know that I peed on an Olympic athlete without any kind of context for that story. Um, it also means that I do really dumb things, like I bring in props that don't really make a whole lot of sense. But that's just at first glance, because if you get to know me, you'll realize that I'm like obviously ADHD, like I just said, but it really means that I'm thinking about everything all the time. And I'm actually making decisions kind of based off of like long trains of thought, and you're just not quite up to speed on the context yet. So, <laughs> for example, um, I was basically raised by my mom, who was the first woman to graduate from SWAT school in Fairfax County, the first woman to graduate from SWAT school in the state of Virginia. She was a drill instructor, she trained snipers, she was really intense, <laughs> obviously. Um, but so she made me basically kind of a bit of a utilitarian, which means that everything kind of has to have purpose in my life. Again, this prop, <laughs> which kind of brings up uh, my third and kind of final uh, topic here, is that I used to be on an Olympic level swim team. Um, I was training six, we were doing two practices a day, 16 miles of practice during taper, which was like when things were kind of slowed down. Um, so two practices a day, six days a week, 365 days a year pretty much, or whatever the number is. But basically we swam on Christmas Eve, to give you an idea of how intense it was. 16 miles of practice. I've swam enough distance to circumnavigate the globe. And if you spend that enough time in the pool, you basically realize that urine in the water is not something you need to be afraid of. What you actually need to be afraid of is the sweat and skin, because everybody's constantly losing skin, dust, sweating, it's pretty gross. Anyway, long story short, I was on a year-round swim team. I was uh, competing pretty regularly against a very well-known athlete. You guys have probably heard of him, Michael Phelps, like every single day. I was at a swim meet, I'm swimming in the warm-up pool. Every single swimmer that you know who's a year-round swimmer pees in the pool, I'm sorry, it's gross. You're just gonna have to deal with that. They do. Anyway, I'm swimming along, this guy's tapping my feet, I'm in the warm-up lane trying to get ready for my race. And I'm like, who is this jerk tapping my feet the whole time? I uh, stop, I've been peeing the whole way down the pool. He does a flip turn, swims back down, climbs out, and two girls run up to get an autograph from him. And I just realized I got a really sweet story to use for my speech class. Again, utilitarian. So thanks for listening. I appreciate it, guys.